Right, everyone, we are back with another match here on WWE 2K24, the first match of the Forbidden Door, and this is going to be our Gauntlet match. This is a bit very similar for Prohibited Portal. Um, but we have a... I'll go for the rules quickly. It's a 30-person elimination... Wow, I should call It's 30-person elimination. One person should enter every 30 seconds. Uh, pinfalls and submissions only. No count outs, no disqualifications, false count anywhere. In the ranking system, it's one point for every elimination you do. And it's minus one point if you are eliminated. Winner will get an extra bonus point as well as an opportunity to fight for the SW Women's Championship. So we have got a number one, as you can see, in the red and black with the face paint. That is Azure Kong. Uh, with the pink hair, has just been thrown over the top. That is Hannah Kimura. And in the ring, who's just entered in the burgundy trunks or pants or tights, whatever they're called, is Serena Deep. So we are utilizing women from um, from AEW, from Stardom, from CMML, and from no, New Japan. Of course, New Japan Pro has a few going on, but they're mainly working for the other companies anyway. As entrant number four is a coming. It's going to be... I see somebody coming down the ramp. Not the best camera angle for me to figure it out. It looks like Soraya. Is it Soraya, though? I think that is Soraya. So, of course, there is a limit of eight people in the ring at once as well. As Aja Kong has herself a stop sign. Remember, no disqualifications, as I said. Soraya with the boots into the face of Aja Kong. Hannah Kimura now package. Pile driver on Serena Deeb. And this could be the first elimination. Deeb is down. Deeb is not out. As number five looks to walk down the ramp now. This is going to be the entrance of... It's Hakaru Shida. who instantly dives to the outside and crashes into the ground. Deeb now with a pin on Hanukkah, where the referee is going to struggle in this match. He always does. Lovely falcon arrow there on the outside onto the stop sign as well. Deeb takes out Hanukkah As entrance number six is on his way down. Azure Kong went for the dive and missed. Oh, Soraya taking the top off the announce table. This is Thunder Rosa at number six. Thunder Rosa. And Thunder Rosa instantly taking Soraya up and down. That could be a knockout blow. It's not. Only a two count. As number seven about to make their way to the ring. Big boot there by Hannah Kimura. Number seven is going to be the entrance of... There's a tap. Who tapped? I think Hannah Kimura just tapped. There's Britt Baker is number seven. Hannah Kimura did tap out to Serena Deeb. Okay. As Paige with a rampage on Thunder Rosa. Or should I say Soraya, sorry. Not elimination, so Hannah Kimura, the only one eliminated so far by Serena Deeb with the D-block submission on the outside. Referee counting down again. It's going to be... Is that Diona Parazzo? That is Diona. As Azure Kong now with a pin attempt... On Soraya. No, not enough. So only one elimination so far. There's one space left in the match as well. Of course, the game limits eight people in the match at once. I love these matches, you know. I really enjoyed the Braver to Portal one as well. But obviously, I think this one should be a bit more entertaining. I think there's a lot more talent in this one. No offense to the NXT and TNA ladies. But I am just looking forward to seeing the ability on this one. I thought we had the countdown, didn't we? Oh. 
So I was scratching the cat. Someone just went. Who got eliminated? I didn't see it. Okay, Soraya's just been eliminated. I struggle so much with this bloody match. There's just so much going on. Jamie Hayter is number nine. Who's gone now? Okay, I think Deeb just eliminated Shida. Yes, yeah, Serena Deeb just eliminated Shida. Okay. God, Serena Deeb is on one this year. Okay, so I missed the elimination of Soraya. I will, I will uh, sort that out after the match. I'll watch it back and I'll figure out who it was. There's a pin here. I think it's Thunder Rosa and... Thunder Rosa and um, somebody going back and forth there. Britt Baker, I think it is. Pin now by Jamie Hayter on Serena Deeb. It's only a two count. Okay. So, yeah, we've got six people in the ring. Three eliminations. We've got nine people entered. That makes sense. Okay. I'm so stressed out in this match, I must admit. As much as I enjoy it, the fact that we're giving points at every elimination just does me in. Death Valley driver there by Thunder Rosa on Britt Baker. Okay, this is... I want to say that's Tam Nakano. Purple and white. Yeah, that is Tam Nakano, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Tam Nakano. I only recently found this out, by the way, but it makes sense now you mention it. But uh, Tam Nakano is the daughter of the legendary Bull Nakano. Uh, one of the main stars in Stardom. I knew of her. I knew she was a big star in stardom, but I never put the Nakanos together. I don't know why. Be a daughter of the legendary Bull Nakano. Number 11. Okay, this is one that I don't know if I'm going to pronounce correctly, but this is Princessa Sujehi. What? Well, Sugar Hit. Sugar Hit? S-U-G-E-H-I-T. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I wish she might be straight out here. Uh, this is our first of our CMML, CMLL uh, ladies. Big star. I think she has actually wrestled in AEW before, you know. I'm sure I've seen AEW before. I've seen her somewhere before. She might have actually done... Did she do the... Um, oh, the... Oh, what was the women's tournament called in WWE, whatever it was called? The May Young Classic? Maybe she was part of the May Young Classic? I can't remember. But I probably, it's probably a debut here, I would imagine, as Tam Nakano enters the ring with her springboards off with a drop kick. And Tam Nakano now bringing Princessa back up to a standing base and hit with that spinning heel kick. Similar to the black mass that uh, we see commonly from Malachi Black and Tam Nakano now locking in the submission. And she breaks free. Okay, there's eight in the ring now. Three eliminations. That's 11. That's correct. There is a pin attempt that I can't see above the ring. Only a two count, though, whoever it was. It was... Is that Britt Baker? No? It was Britt Baker, yeah. Britt Baker on Thunder Rosa. That's who it was. Okay, Tam Nakano has a hold of Britt Baker with a headbutt. And Tam now wrenching back at the leg and the knee of Britt Baker. There's a cutter there on the outside by Diana Perazzo on Processor Sugary or Sugar Hit. Sugar Hit. I don't know. I did try and Google it, but no one seems to have it written phonetically. What I need to do is I need to watch a video and just listen to it, don't I? I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section. Nice brain buster onto the knee there by Jamie Hayter on Asher Kong as Britt Baker takes down Tam Nakano with the sling blade. Springboard into the drop kick as well. Pin now. There's three pins on going. I don't know who has got the priority. I have all three have been broken up now and no eliminations.
There's a pin now by Jamie Hayter on Thunder Rosa. And that's the elimination. Jamie Hayter eliminates Thunder Rosa. Jamie Hayter. As Britt Baker just wallops. Oh my god, look at that power bomb. I think I don't think that actually hit, to be honest. But Asia Kong going for the power bomb now on Serena Deeb. Instead, Deeb breaks free. As Britt Baker now. In with a tequila sunrise. Adam Cole's finisher maneuver. And Britt Baker does not get the elimination on Tam Nakano. Jamie Hayton now pinning Diana Parazzo. And Jamie Hayter eliminates Diona Parazzo. Submission locked in here. And Tam Nakano is eliminated by Britt Baker as well. Hang on a minute. What? I was sure Tam Nakano just tapped out. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, oh, I'm getting confused now. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Did the first tap out not count then? So Diona was pinned by Jamie Hayter. And while that was happening, Britt Baker eliminated... I'm have to do some maths here, aren't I? Uh, in comes Anna J at 12. Okay. And there goes Britt Baker eliminated Princess Suguri as well. Okay. So I've got two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. You're gone. So you're gone, you're gone. Okay. Two, four, five. I've got five women. I've got six eliminations. And one that's missing. That's correct. Okay. We are correct. As Jamie Hayter straight in the pin on Anna J. Pin attempt here on the outside as well by, I think it was Deeb, is it? I'm so freaking lost already. Right, number 13. Who's a lucky number 13? Serena Deeb, I think, has just eliminated... Right, it's Stephanie Vakur at 13. Serena Deeb did just eliminate Azure Kong. So Deeb with three eliminations now. But here comes one of the ladies who would be one of the favourites here, Stephanie Vakur. Somebody who I've only really uh, become aware of over the last sort of six to 12 months, but apparently she's incredible. Number 14 is going to be the entrance of. It's Tony Storm! There's another elimination there. That is on the far side. I think Stephanie Vakur has just made somebody submit. Is Britt Baker gone? Yep. Stephanie Vakur straight away then in with a match. Eliminating Britt Baker in a matter of less than a minute. Pin now by Tony Storm. Britt Baker's trying to get out of there as much as he can. Stephanie Vakur now with a pin on Serena Deeb. And Stephanie Vakur with a second elimination. Get rid of Serena Deeb who's been very impressive so far. Number 15. Is Ruby, 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 Ruby Soho, 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 Ruby Soho. Who instantly gets picked up. Stephanie Vakur. Oh my god, she just powerbombed Tony Storm on the apron. Stephanie Vakur. I mean, from 13, I can't see Stephanie going the way and winning this, but she could definitely make a dent and get some good ranking points. Pin attempted by Anna J on Stephanie Vakur. Only a two count. There has been an entrant, number 16. My lucky number is going to be... There's a pin. I think Ruby Soho has just eliminated... Um, Anna... No. Yeah, that lady there. I forgot her name. Um, this is Nat Supoi. Again, probably butchered that one. She is from Stardom. A very capable wrestler. Yeah, white and yellow. That's definitely... Um, yeah, that's your boy. I've got a little cheat sheet for some of the attires because uh, I'm not 
as knowledgeable on some of these stardom and CMML ladies, so I want to make sure that I've got the right ones. As in comes another, I've got this one. This is this is Rana Yagami. Again, butchered name. That might not be actually. No, it's not. Is it? I'm sure that is. I don't think that is. That's a Zumi. What am I about? That's a Zumi. That's A Z M. A Zumi. Yeah, one purple boot, one gold boot. I almost messed up. I thought I recognised when she came out, but I almost, I almost messed it up. Right, is that Mercedes? Mercedes has entered at number 18 while I was messing around with that. God, I'm getting stressed out here. Ruby Soho with the... Uh, whatever that's called. I forgot. And another one on Tony Storm straight after. Okay, this, I believe, is Ya uh, Rana Yagami. That's the point. Now taking down Stephanie Vakur. Tony Storm now with a Storm Zero. I am lost. I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, I'm sure that is Rana. Yagami. Yellow silver boots. She's got a bit of purple on her attire, which I don't think we can see from here. I'm not sure, though. Thing is, a lot of these ladies from Stardom all have the same colour schemes on their attires, which you can't really tell unless you're close up, I don't think, but we're fine. So, Suzumi in the ring with Anna J at the moment. You've got uh, Natsupoi who's just thrown Tony Storm in. And I believe that is Rana... Yagami there, who's now working with oh, Nibar here, locked in by Tony Storm on Azumi. Not enough. Stephanie Vakur had a pin attempt there on Rana as well. There is a pin going on somewhere. I don't know where. It's on the far side. Mercedes was trying to pin somebody. I am so freaking lost in this one. Azumi has just completely taken out Tony Storm, though. And she's eliminated her. Azumi with an elimination on Tony Storm. Then just takes out Natsupoi straight away. Stephanie Vakur now picking. That is. I want to see a close up of. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely Rana Yagami in the middle of the ring now with Ruby Soho. Natsupoi. Ooh. And a Jaina with a big boot across the side of the head of Azumi. Which is funny because in real life those two are swiftly becoming friends. I think even there's been mention of Anna Jay joining the, the group of Queen's Quest. As uh, Stephanie Vakur now locking in the submission on Anna Jay. And there is Stephanie Vakur's further elimination of the match. Going joint top alongside Serena Deeb in this one. And now going for the pin on Rani Yagami. Ruby Soho now snooplex on the outside on Mercedes. Only a two count. Lovely. Off the top. No, okay, this is going to be Ember Moon, Athena at number 20. Is that Stephanie Vakur again with a submission? It is. Not enough. Ruby Soho's hit a lot of high impactful moves so far, but not managed to get a elimination. Stephanie Vakur once again with the submission. Will this be another? It is Stephanie Vakur with her fourth elimination of the match. Wow. Elevating herself up the rankings here today.
And again, now locked on on Ruby Soho. Oh my god, that submission is really wrenched in, but Soho able to break free. This is Julia Hart at 21. You've got Azumi there with that armbar locked in now on Natsuboy. Rolls it through. Julia Hart taking down Athena. The two stardom ladies inside the ring really showing their ability. Incredible back and forth action. There's the pin. Nope. Not to be. So now Saito suplex on Julia Hart. Sound like a tap there, but it wasn't. Okay. We await entry of number 22. It is going to be Sky Blue. Sky Blue enters the match. Instantly getting caught by Julia Hart. There's the moonsault there by Natsupoi. Only a two count. Again, I'm butchering these names, I know. Please do let me know uh, in the comment section how to better pronounce them as Mercedes now has somebody piled up there in for the pin. And it is a pin for Mercedes. It's Ruby Soho has gone. As Azumi now ducks underneath. Oh, gets caught with a boot in the face though by Sky Blue. Mercedes now taking that support with a dropper. Azumi now with a pin on Sky Blue. Stephanie Bakur doing well here. Four eliminations in the lead now of the night. No matter what happens here, she's going to rocket herself up the ranking system. Here is a pin. The referee, I don't know who it is pinning on the outside, to be honest. Code blue on the inside there by Sky Blue on Azumi. And Code blue gets Sky Blue the elimination. All right, we've had 22 entrants so far. Stephanie Bakura and Mercedes going at it is interesting because you'd feel like the pair of them would probably go quite far in this match. And maybe attacking each other isn't the best way of doing so. As the countdown begins once again. Big suplex here on Julia Hart by Natsuboy. And that's the elimination. She's got one. Natsupoi eliminates Julia Hart. As this is Mariah May at 23. Vakur taken down there by Sky Blue. Mariah May is in the match. Instantly gets closed line. No, she avoids it. Okay, I've only missed one elimination so far. I'm doing okay. I think. I hope. All right, here we go. Countdown begins again. There's a pin here by Athena. Athena has just eliminated Stephanie Vacker, who's had such a dominant performance so far. Coming down the ring now. Who is that? Is that... Yes, this is Reina... Well, downloaded as Reina I, but her real name is Reina Isis. But of course, um, that's not allowed in Community Creations. Another lady from CMLL. Natsupoi straight away though. Catches her with that capture German. She could be a very quick appearance. No. That's Stephanie back. Uh, I thought it was Sky Blue heading up the ramp then. Uh, this is... Is that Mina Shirakawa? It's Mina Shirakawa at number 25. 
Everyone's favourite. Oh my god, you can't even get a chance to count in the bottom corner there, could he? Yeah, that's Mina, definitely. You can tell by the taunts that's Mina. Lovely spinning drop kick there by Natsupoi, who's been pretty good so far. Got the one elimination. Oh my god. Mercedes Monet just hit something mad over there. But she hit it on the freshest member of the match. As in comes number 26 as Mercedes locks in a sleeper hold. I'm not seeing who number 26 is yet. I saw purple. Oh, it's Chris Statlander. Okay, so four left. Statlander's got a very good position. Remember, one of these ladies is going to fight for the SW Women's Heavyweight Championship against the current champion, of course, who is Julia. Of course, she successfully defended that belt against Victoria only a few days ago. And now a big opportunity to defend it again against one of the best in AW stardom. Or ironically, because she used to be stardom, didn't she, until this little thingy happened. Mina Shirakawa almost eliminated Mariah May of all people. I think there's eight in the ring at the moment as well. So nobody will enter until we've had an elimination. It's getting very messy though because there's a lot of people up there in a very small area. It'd be nice if they were to spread out a little bit because it is getting funky. Pin here by Sky Blue on Reyna. And, well, Reyna's gone. Okay. Sky Blue gets her second elimination of the match. Mina with the Impaler DDT. There is a pin here I can't see. Mercedes was pinning somebody. Mina now on the pin on Natsupoi. And Mina Shirakawa with her first elimination of the match. On her fellow stardom wrestler. Uh, Natsupoi. Pin again. Not to be. Okay, we've got a bit spreading out now, which is good. Pin now by Sky Blue on Mina Shirakawa. Not going to be enough. Mercedes looking to drop... Mariah May and she does Code Blue by Sky Blue Oh my god there's just so much going on The camera cuts don't help in this match I must admit The camera cuts do not help in this match Type at all <laughs> Scatlander just Pinging Sky Blue off the head With a stop sign there's a pin. That was Athena eliminating Mercedes Martinez. I think. Not Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes Monet. Where's Athena? I've lost the name. There it is. That's Riho. Has just entered number 27, I believe. Gotta love Riho. Sky Blue with a code blue. Sky Blue has been immense so far in this one. Really been good. Looking to get her third elimination of the match. And she's got it. Sky Blue, three big eliminations now. And I can think of a good way to reward her for these uh, this incredible performance if she doesn't go to win. As Athena now with a pin on Chris Statlander. Here comes Willow at number 28. Mina Shirakawa with the Impaler DDT on Riho. Riho may have had a short appearance here. No. Not even a one count. Referee was very slow. Statlander now taking down Athena. And of course Willow going straight after Chris Statlander. Two more entrants left. Remember one of these ladies will face off against Julia for the SW Women's Championship. Number 29. That is Ty Valkyrie, isn't it? No. That's Nyla Rose. Okay. I think I may have just said who's last then. Because I just remembered that Ty Valkyrie's in the match. We haven't seen it yet. So I'm assuming that number 30 will be Ty Valkyrie. Sky Blue. Oh, nice uppercut there on Riho. A Statlander now takes Nyla up. Into a last ride on the outside. Wow. I mean, don't be wrong. I am solely here hoping for a Mina Shirakawa win. I'm obsessed with that lady. 
And here comes Tyre Valkyrie. Yep, there we go. Number 30, Tyre Valkyrie. Right. So one of these eight ladies left now will be the number one contender for the SW Women's Championship. And it's Statlander trying to eliminate Willow. Oh, look at that Mini Shokara getting just caught out there by Sky Blue. Take down there by Athena on Riho. Statlander with a reverse DDT. I'm happy with any of these eight ladies getting the opportunity. I mean, obviously, Tyre would be the favorite at this point. She was the one who entered the la latest. I don't know who's entered the, the first. Is, is Izumi gone? I think so, yeah. Maybe it's Athena at number 20 then, I think. I think it's probably Athena at number 20 is the most recent entrant. Oh, sorry, the, the longest entrant in this match. Willow taken down. I said Nyla Rose has been hit by a lot of high-impact maneuvers since she entered this match. There's a pin here. It's only a two-count. Ty has just powerbombed somebody. Willow with a backbreaker on Nyla Rose. In with a second. Willow Nightingale with a pin now on Nyla Rose. That is going to be only a two-count. I'm not even sure if that's what the referee was counting, to be honest, but... Willow's heading up to the top. The Willow Salt. I think Nyla's got to be gone now, surely. That's a lot of high impact maneuvers. Yeah, Nyla's gone. Willow Nightingale with the elimination. And then there were seven. And Taya Valkyrie with Sky Blue up on the shoulders. In with a running power slam. Come on, Mina. I believe in you, Mina. Pin here by Athena now on Willow Nightingale. Riho with the running arm bar takedown. Pin here by Taya on Sky Blue. Sky Blue's been there for a while. And yeah, the fresh Taya Valkyrie able to take complete opportunity of that. Riho now with a pin inside the ring on Chris Statlander. His tyre. This is a finisher, isn't it? There's a pin here by Willow on the outside on Mina. No, Mina! Willow Nightingale eliminates Mina Shirakawa. I've never wanted to boo Willow so much. Willow taking down Riho. So there are five left now. I think all five ladies that are left are inside the ring. So we've got Willow, we've got Athena, we've got Taya, we've got Chris Statlander, we've got Riho. So have Mina been eliminated? It's all down to AEW now. Riho... <laughs> you gotta love Riho as well, don't you? Oh, she bumped into uh, Willow on the floor. And then got launched to the outside. Tyre now running. Sit out powerbomb on Athena. Who has been in this match for the longest so far. And Tyre taking advantage again. Tyre smart, like I said. She's taking advantage here of two women that have been in the match for a very long time. Now going after Willow. She should probably go after... Statlander's been in this longer. Statlander gets caught with the elbow. Okay, so we've got Willow, Riho, Statlander, and Tyre. It's going to be a good match no matter what, actually. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Statlander dropping Tyre neck first across the top rope. Super kick into the gut, and then with the... Axe kick as well. Death Valley driver by Willow. And that could be the end of Riho. It's not. Riho survives. Riho survives. 
Willow now in with a power bomb. Yeah, the gut wrench power bomb. That's going to be enough, surely. No. And this is a submission attempt here by Tyre. No, just slamming the face of Stat into the mat. So the people left in the match are 26, 27, 29 and 30. It does show the benefit of coming into this match later on, doesn't it? Referee is prioritising the pin on the outside, which obviously happened a bit quicker. Now tire on stat. This has taken far too long, though. Sure not going to be a free, no. Referee too slow. Only one count all round. Tire. Oh, right in the ribs. That looked painful. Rolling Statlander over. Statlander fighting back. Lovely running head scissors there by Riho. Statlander with Tyre up into a tombstone pile driver. Wow. Oh my god, that is terrifying. That was terrifying. Pinned by Riho. And Riho eliminates Willow. We're down to the final three. Statlander now. Tombstone Power Driver again. And instead of going for the pin, though, she goes after Riho. No, she's got Tyre in a position. There's the backbreaker. Went a knee right in the face. Statlander bringing Riho back up to a standing base. And now Fisherman's into the Brain Buster. But Tyre, they're both being smart now. Knowing that someone's taking a lot of damage and trying to work over the other one. So they've got an easy way to win. I mean, Riho's flat out on the outside. Both Tyre and Stat think they've got it easy. If they can eliminate each other. Tyre just stamp on the back of Statlander's head. There's the pin. And Statlander's gone. Tyre Valkyrie, further elimination. Riho, though, springs off the ropes. Oh, mate, if Riho pulls us off. Come on, Riho. The ultimate underdog, Riho. Tyre entered at number 30. Snap suplex. Drop kick in the spine. Went for the double foot stomp. Tyre saw it coming. Riho rolling Tyre through. Cheeky. Oh, she almost had it. Tyre rolls it back through. And she's got it. Tyre has won the match with the fourth elimination. Tyre Valkyrie will go on to face off against Julia. Well, there we go. God, I'm stressed out after that. I don't know about you. I've got to go back and double check just the elimination of Soraya. I think apart from that, I think I got this pretty well. Right, I'm going to love you. Leave you. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. Thank you much for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow when we do it all again. Bit in the men's division. Good night.